Today on Offbeat, Nicholas J. Johnson is joining us. Plus, we are there for the Ben Elton's musical, We Will Rock You, showing at the Regent Theatre. Wednesday Offbeat starts now. <laughs> Welcome to Offbeat Wednesdays. I'm Emily Hattie. And I'm Jake Freeman. And welcome yet to another exciting episode of Offbeat. I'm thrilled we are. And of course, as always, we want you to get involved and help this and follow up and create the hashtag make live TV and support live TV. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, right now, we'll introduce our guest, Nicholas J. Johnson. He's a con artist, a magician, an author, and is extremely scarily good at what he does. He works oh, yeah. as an expert consultant on fraud and deception. You name it, this guy knows it. He'll be showing us some of the tricks of the trade a bit later on. Yeah, and Nicholas is, an, of course, a comedian, very well acclaimed, has toured all around the world and Australia, and is the best-selling author of two books. Please welcome Nicholas J. Johnson. Thank you very welcome. much. Thank Sorry, you. There's... That was an amazing introduction. Well, um... I wish I was, like, better now. That's, no, like, that's pressure. superb. That's... Well, yeah, we'll Spot insert on. the Claudia, the uh, applauding later. Yeah, <laughs> yeah actually, yes. <laughs> please, please, please. I love your set here as well. I was just looking. I've been kicked out of like at least two places in that image, <laughs> which is which is really nice. It makes me feel at home. Thanks. Good. Yeah. Thanks. Well, now you call yourself a liar, a cheater, everything under the mm -hmm. sun. What uh, what are some of the reactions you get when people when you tell people what you do? Well, it's difficult to explain what I do because I always call myself an honest con man. So sure. I when <laughs> sure. I, when I was a kid, I wanted more than anything else to be a magician, you know, and to be David Copperfield, rabbits out of hats, the whole thing. Mm. But I realized very early on that there is no money in magic. You know, like no, <laughs> yeah. there's no pra you know, we have enough rabbits in Australia. Why would we want to pull more out of hats? Um, but then I realized con artists and swindlers, they use exactly the same skills uh, and they make a lot more money. But um, I, I suffer from uh, a bad case of ethics and so I, I struggle I struggle to yeah. take people's money the crooked way. So I do it the honest way and I, I show people how con artists work. I, I recreate the scams for TV and, and uh, for, for entertainment. When did this all begin? What age were you? What were you doing? Um, I well, I started out when I was five years old. I was they, I was in the circus, so I got mm -hmm. dressed up by my uh, older brother and sister as a cute oh. little You're in clown. The yeah, yeah, and I'd run on and do my little oh, magic yes. tricks, you know, the thumb, the whole thing, <laughs> yeah, and it works. was adorable. <laughs> uh, I am still adorable, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't fit in the costume anymore. Um, so that was when I started out. But then all throughout, uh, you know, primary school and high school, I used to do you know magic shows at kids' birthday parties and got my skills up. And then, um, yeah, went out into the real world and used my powers for evil instead of good. <laughs> so it's, it's a what's, lot of fun. What's the most common uh, thing that people, swindling? What's the most common kind of thing that or people do? The biggest scam. Uh, do you know what? Yeah. I, I don't think there is a most common scam anymore because there, are, there, is like, there is a scam for everyone. You know, if you're on holidays, you're walking down the street, you will find, you know, people playing three-card Monty and crooked games on the street or pickpockets. But if you're online, completely different. You know, romance scams, advanced fee fraud, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, so Russian like, brides. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All of that sort of stuff. So it's not, you know, it's, it's, I don't think there is the most common scam because there's literally a scam for everyone. There's one, one for all of us. You mentioned that you're an expert and you help you know, solve the crimes. Do you ever worry or lose sleep at night mm -hmm. thinking that the criminals will come and find you one day? No. No? No, absolutely not. not. No, no, no. Because one, most con artists don't even realize they're con artists. They justify it in their head that they, you know. They, denial. Yeah, they're in denial. Um, and, and also, the, those guys have got bigger fish to fry than to worry about the likes of me. Mm. Um, you know, it's, it's a bit like sort of saying the, I don't know, the guy in the shark cage who's, who's kind of looking at the sharks swimming past. Yeah. Like, the sharks have got more important things to do. All yeah. right, so I was going to think it's like an underbelly world sort of thing, but obviously it's not. No, no, I've been, I've been harassed and I've been punched a couple of times and chased down the street and a few things like that, but, you know. Yeah, who hasn't? Yeah, who <laughs> have we all yeah. have, yeah. That, <laughs> that was just know. going down to Woolies to buy <laughs> yeah. some, some, some groceries, yeah. yeah. Just trying to get some milk. And yeah, just trying to buy some milk yeah. and people are throwing stuff at me. Sure, yeah. now you've got some books out. I do, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was going to write non-fiction. Um, 
um, you know, like sort of tell all tales from my adventures. And then I realized I'm just too big of a liar. <laughs> so I've written two uh, novels. One is Chasing the Ace, which is all about um, a young con artist, and then the sequel, which mm -hmm. is Fast and Loose, which is about my experiences in tabloid television. So mm -hmm. I used to go on shows like A Current Affair and Today Tonight, and you realize that those shows that used to cover all the con artists are way bigger con artists yeah, than I the people so. on the show. Yeah. You just mentioned there being con artists and you know being able to believe and all that. I want to know because you were you know con artists, do people find it hard to believe you? Yes. At times, like even I know you're an expert and yeah. past all that, but still, it must be hard. Absolutely, yeah. If you're playing any any sort of game that involves bluffing or lying, or you know, like it doesn't matter if it's poker or you know the game Werewolf, you know where one person mm. is a werewolf, everyone always goes, oh, I must be Nick because he's <laughs> the honest con man, and it's like, no, I'm just sitting here. Come on. Just <laughs> having a good and time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really no matter what I say, people go, oh, but did you know? Uh, yeah. Did you? Did you really? No, I'm just telling you the truth. I'm just sitting here. Yeah. Do you find it really easily easy to lie, and you kind of catch yourself? You know, so if you trying to impress someone they'll ask you and you just go yeah uh, and then you have to make up a lie because you realize to, oh, crap why did I, I say that do you know what? I think to be honest I enjoy finding a way to tell the truth much more than lying because I think we all lie you know all the time and finding mm -hmm. a way to get out of a situation without having to tell a lie I get a lot more pleasure mm -hmm. from that than, yeah. than, 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 than just sort of making yeah, stuff up sure. yeah. Well, yeah. Nicholas, stay right there because we are coming back with you straight after the break. We are going to play some games. Mm -hmm. Nicholas, this is fraught with danger, this segment. Yep. Play some con artist games and get Emily and I tricked. So stay Can't tuned wait. for that. Yeah.